Are we gonna divide this shit? What kind of person I am regarding measures and I'm a bit like measure once, fail twice. So, I need to clear this area as is it blocking the way to removing all the insulation behind this area. There is an association called the Fisher Owners Association situated in England. There are members from all over the world. And I like the fact that there are no complaints about the boat. It's just talking about meeting up. There are of course issues which there are with every boat and sharing tips about that, the best way to fix it. So this is a fissure and it's great. It's just great. There are lots of comments on why do I do this project? This is way more work than this boat is worth. Not to me. This is an old fisher. It's very well built. It's a rugged, seaworthy boat. I'm lo not looking for a new boat to put the key and start up and go off. I'm looking for something that means a lot more to me than to many other people by doing the work myself or create something that is not for everyone but everything to me by doing the work myself i create sort of a mental bond b between a thing like this and and uh, my own feelings and i love this boat and when i finished which i hope i will then this boat will mean a lot to me and on the other side also I will know the boat inside and out. I will know where to keep an eye for any issues. So I hope you understand that even though this may not calculate very well, be aware that it's still a 30 foot very seaworthy boat. I may not be able to sell it for as much since it's old but I believe when I'm finished, it would be way cheaper than a new boat with the same quality as this one. So, I'm in the workshop of the cheek guy, Boatman John. Who is this guy? Let's meet him. Smoking in the workshop. Yeah. Right. So, who are you? My friends call me John. I'm a joiner and uh, experiencing uh, boat business in Norway. I come here uh, from London. I've been born in Poland. And what's your expertise in life? Have a fun. <laughs> yeah, what working with me is making me fun. What are you looking forward to in the next five years? Have are you having a boat? Yeah, I already have a boat. <laughs> now I plan to bring the boat here. Yeah, it's gonna be stuck in a corner of shame. <laughs> now don't show it. <laughs> and uh, you're also building the cheek for the fisher on my videos. Exactly. So how is it working out? Is it difficult? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's not easy uh, job when you don't have boat uh, on the hand. When will you put the first stick on the deck? Yeah, definitely before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Looking forward for your You're next welcome. work. There are two bolts on the engine that 
results in a slight change of the engine bed. I've um, been asked what kind of person I am regarding measures and I'm a bit like measure once, fail twice. This is the forward part of the engine bed and the engine mount will be here and on the side there is a bolt that connects the engine mounts to the engine block and it needs a little bit more space. I need to sand away that area on both sides. Great! Even more sanding. There is no complaining. Let's just start. There's no way that can be large. I hardly get them on. We are ready to mix the next resin to attach the two second uh, structural members of the engine bed. I did pre-drill the hose, but I can't see due to its dark. Uh... and we have epoxied the structure members to the engine bed. Let's have a look. Perfect, that's nice. How are we gonna divide this shit?
we are getting closer and closer to glassing in the dungeon bed. But there are still some things to be done prior to that task. Let me show you. This area I will put in a piece of uh, uh, plywood to, uh, to uh, make a barrier to keep any leaking oil to enter the bilge. Same in the front. I had made have made a barrier, but there are a missing piece a missing piece here. I would need to make that and glue it. In the base of the engine bed, someone once have been cutting this open. Unfortunately, there are spillings from old engine oil, and it needs to be cleaned and sealed with epoxy and fiberglass mat and. We have put these parts of the structure, glued it with uh, thickened epoxy, so it's a new structural member. We need to grind it a bit to smoothen out the corners and uh, the sharp edges. On this side, there is still an opening where the storage crate for the batteries used to be. So I will. I will seal this first with uh, fiberglass and then I will later make a new piece of wood which I will seal with fiberglass. I have not taken too much into consideration if everything is straight because that is what I call perfection and it's not necessary in this area for every angle to be straight strength before beauty so don't spend time on perfection on something that's hidden perfection we save that for the exterior and and the interior of the boat where we actually can see it every day Long but uh, most satisfying day. I've uh, put extra epoxy on the structural members so all the corners are now rounded off. Also, as we see here, we have a bit of barrier for the possible oil leakage. It's an experiment, but I uh, have to do something to progress. Good night. So the epoxy has cured just fine overnight. This shape is meant for, you know, spilling of any spilling of oil from the engine will be conserved in this part of the engine bed. And of course, while the boat is rocking, the oil will move in the engine bed and it has to be higher on the sides. I've used uh, two different fillers. This is fiberglass filler. This filler is epoxy based. This epoxy based filler used some of the night to cure completely 
the fiberglass filler was completely, I think, cured after 30 minutes. It was useless after four or five minutes after the mixing. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like if you have enjoyed this video. Also consider subscribing. That way you will have the next videos in your search. Much is great advantage. If you have any comments, please leave it in the text below. Very much looking forward to reading those. Have a nice day. Till next video.